Alright, this doesn't need any context. Recently, I was watching Technoblade and Skeppy play Minecraft. Now I remembered, hey, I remember when sheep didn't used to drop mutton. So I pulled out an old prime. Yep, whoa. Camera, hold still. Hold still. Alright, so what's going on, guys? This is the editor, and uh, we're going to go back in time. Uh, this is the original Minecraft handbook. Alright. You're all alone in a mysterious new world. Full of hidden dangers, please focus. You only have minutes to find food and shelter before darkness falls and monsters come looking for you. What do you do? What the... Hello? The official Minecraft essential handbook might just save your life. Learn how to find resources, make a shelter, craft tools, armor, weapons, and protect yourself from monsters. This is before Pillage and Village did. This is before. This was like before 1.8. Apparently, this is what was in 2013. Before 1.8 came to Java. All right, so let's see. Oh yeah, this features um Paul Sores Jr. and Captain Sparkles. I'll be linking both of those at the end of the video. All right, let's go. All right, an introduction, contents. Oh my goodness. Welcome to Minecraft Essential Handbook. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, or the nether. And the end. All right, there's achievements. Okay. All right, what kind of venture will you choose? It's all up to you. Ah, yes. Before, hey, notch and jab. All right, creator, co-founder, mo mode, uh, um, focus. Hello? I don't know why it's not focusing. Focus. Nah. Well, that's just not... Oh, okay. You can just pause the video now and just read that. J same goes for Jeb. Jens. Uh, oh, he took over in 2012. First work on oh those climbing spiders and pistons. Focus staying safe online. Never get that's just kind of general stuff. Like don't give any personal information, obviously. Uh yes, butter or oh hey, it is twenty thirteen. Okay, I need to just get a better light source. Thank you. Alright, this goes from 2009. Notch begins working. He calls it Cave Game. That's the only reason I know. And then December, he just moves on. Oh. 100,000 Minecrafters Alpha. Survival is the only mode available. Sales hit 200,000 in June of 2010. First ever Minecon is held in Washington State. 50 people attend. That's not bad. That's like double the amount of subscribers we have, honestly. A bit less. Who wins Indie Game of the Year from IndieDB? Beta is released. Additions include egg throwing and cost. Egg throwing. Yes. Do you see? It? Pocket Edition was released in 2011. Oh, and uh, Minecraft 1.0.0 is released, and it's out of beta. New additions include Ender Dragon, Mushrooms, and Villagers. They were called Testificates. I believe that's how you say it. Their trading wasn't implemented until later. 1.2.1. This is a Java edition, I believe. New additions include the Jungle, Ocelots, Cat... Wait. No. I remember when they were... Oh, wait, no, because you tamed Ocelots. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, I have this. Oh, Disney. <laughs> yes. Wait, that's 1.6? Oh my gosh. Jeez, I'm old. I remember when... I, w I would play, um... 
I would play on the Xbox 360 with my sister. At least attempt to play multiplayer on the tutorial world in creative. Alright, platforms, it's available everywhere now. It's available on the Raspberry Pi now, apparently. It's creative. Burn everything to the ground. Okay. And then survival. Levels. Yeah, levels were... Uh, experience points. To each of the first 16. Once you reach level 17, it reaches to make it, bro. Uh oh Alright, just the controls. I actually didn't pay attention to this because I never play on PC. There's a 3D... Oh, wait. Did anyone know that there's a 3D? Oh, shift key. Oh. Right, yeah, this is this is the one I did. Yeah. Pocket Edition controls. I, I didn't get Pocket Edition until later, like maybe 2018. The inventory. Nothing has changed. I have 64 for slot. Mm. Uh, the old Apple, the old one. The old everything. <laughs> it's trickier on a PC or Mac. <laughs> you have to figure it out yourself. This is before the crafting tape, the crafting book, I believe. Right. I'm not gonna com comment comment on everything. The lucky spot, the unlucky spot. Ah, uh, the survival island. No trees. If you die, you reappear at your spawn point. Mark a trail from your spawn point to the shelter you will build. That way, if you die, you can just get back to safety your home quickly. Oh yeah, this is before beacons. Yeah, when playing stress me. Alright. You can just pause this. Alright. Pause it. My first day. I purchased my first day. You release Alpha 1.0.3. Chad and monster sounds and cave noises. Ah, yes. I. It was a long time ago and a long forgotten need. I can't. I can't do. I don't know. I don't know what it sounds like. Mm. Ah. <clears throat> what is that? Is that? No, obviously it's just a sheep. Kind of looks like a polar bear. I won't lie. <laughs> and then. Behind him, you're... <laughs> His first death was to a creeper. Oh, wait, I complete I completely forgot about that. I was trying to scroll on the book. Oh, I can't do anything. I'm the opposite of a boomer. Oh, yeah. Uh... Also... Most people don't know this because I never say it, but the first mob I actually died to in Minecraft ever was actually a spider at night. I was so scared. I was running away. I had, like, no health. This was on the Xbox 360 edition. I was trying to run away. There was a bunch of zombies. There's probably, like, one or two skeletons. And then I was, like, drowning underwater, and I had to get back up for air, but there were... But there was a spider up above, and then I just died to the spider. That was on day one. Wood tools. <laughs> Wood and pickaxe. What is my purpose? No, wait. You can repair worn down tools by combining two of the... Wait. I feel so... I feel so dumb right now. I never realized that you can just do that. I thought that was a Java edition thing when I saw Phoenix SE do it. 
in one of his videos. I feel so dumb. I didn't have to waste all that time for anvils. I have managed to get anvils in survival. It's actually pretty hard, especially with this generation. Iron is just incredibly hard. Oh, yes, torches. <laughs> Sunset is approaching the light source. Fast. Hostile monsters like spiders, creepers, and zombies. There's a tall boy. The zombies respond in dark areas, including your shelter. Scary stuff. A giant arachnid that I can see in the... That's like a half a meter tall spider. That's like... 1.5 feet? I don't know, I'm just saying that. Because I don't know the approximate things. That's a one foot spider. That is ginormous. It, look for a rock face and you can see any... Or it's coming found cliff face as well as below ground. <laughs> Use your wooden pickaxe until it... Repeat until you have several. You can never have too many torches. Look I mean, technically, you can't if you don't have anything. All right, torch recipe to make it burn blocks of wood in a furnace to make charcoal. Oh, wait, I never actually tried that. Jack o' lantern recipe. You might be able to find torches in strongholds, abandoned mine shafts, and NPC villages. The NPCs are only a summonable entity. Mm. Shelter. I actually did do this when I was playing. I tried finding a perfect thing. Not just your first day shelter doesn't have to be pretty. I you I just tried to make it three blocks tall because it looked better. It's torch inside. Oh no, if I saw that, I would instantly mine that coal. I don't care. I would have like... Nowadays, I would have so much cobblestone right now. Just have up to 27 stacks. 54 storage slots. Okay. And now, stone. And then just iron. Oh, wait. That's iron. That definitely looks like iron. What are these? Mine stone never, never, look, there it is. Never dig straight down. This is the number one rule in Minecraft. You, you could fall into lava, a cave system, or a dungeon, all which result in your own. Never dig directly above your head either. I won't say directly above your head is as dangerous because uh, nowadays lava gives off like lava particles um yeah like a cave system especially with 1.18 they're like really big and you could just die especially if you're like really early and you don't have any um any water buckets or iron Food and health. Oh, there it is, there it is. Sheep don't drop meat, they only drop wool. Lamb is officially off the menu. Rip, because now we have mutton. Mutton isn't really that great of a food source, honestly. Chicken does better. It's a lot easier, too. All right. In survival mode, you need to keep an eye on your health food bars. It, ten shanks, which look like chicken drumsticks. I've always called them shanks. I know people that call them like Jimkins or some. Uh, if your health bar goes to zero, you will die. Yeah, this. Yeah, you need to eat like an apple or something. Wait, no, apple does. Huh? Wait. 
it restores two food points. One point, yeah, one point equals that. A cake will restore 12. That's only six shanks. Day two breaks, assuming you're still alive. Still alive. Sheep. Uh, I don't see... It's impossible to be greedy and overeat in Minecraft, so don't even try. You won't be able to eat food when your hunger bars... Or if you are playing in creative mode. You can eat if you're in creative mode now. You can only eat with, with, when you need to fill up your food bar. Nowadays, you can eat while you're in creative. Also, interestingly, you can't mine blocks with a sword in creative. It's weird. Are the ideal food source if you can't find any animals or you just want don't want to kill a poor defenseless creature? Kills a poor defenseless creature. <laughs> are sometimes dropped. Oh yeah, if you... If you have, like, a fire aspect sword on uh, a zombie, you can get a baked potato. If you get lucky enough. Eat an apple, which stores two food points. That's only... That's... Yeah, that's one shank. Mm -hmm. Focus. Yeah, that's one and a half shanks down. meat so if you want to go vegan in minecraft you can there's god apples <laughs> uh fish i don't i remember when they looked like that hunting it food and health continue you mm -hmm. restore three and cook four job and stay over four restore four no uh I believe the wait. It's a like, oh bucket pumpkin pie. Wait, <gasps> the old cake texture, yes. The old bucket texture. I want to say bilk bucket. <laughs> I don't know why. You can get string from killing spiders or destroying cobwebs or trip wires. And and also kill cats. Rip. Just pause this. Gravel elevator. That's just pillaring. It jump. Oof. So basically he was going up. He was pillaring up with the gravel and he, when he saw a cow. And then the cow just jumped and survived. And then when he finally killed it, it literally dropped nothing. The moral of the story, when you go hunting, bring a bow. Or enchant your sword with looting. Lo looting three. That's exactly what. Fishing rod. I find fishing actually quite relaxing in Minecraft. It's pretty good. I, I don't mind fishing. Some people think that fishing is just kind of unnecessary and they don't like it. I mean, it does get kind of boring, but you only have to wait like 10 seconds at most. There you are. When you're a little more advanced, you might journey to the nether at the end. But don't be tempted to place a bed in either dimension or you'll get an explosive surprise. The bed just turns into a creeper. A cred. A better? I uh, I hope I didn't offend anyone. Let's see. Yes. Craft a bed. Killing a sheep with a... Killing a... Killing a sheep with a pickaxe? Why didn't you put a sword or an axe? Shears. Poor piece of string. Drops a block of wool. Oh, and a wolf kills a sheep. Basically, three, three out of the four are just sheep. Shears are pretty easy. I never really use shears. These days, you don't really need shears for sheep. Since you can just kill them and get the meat anyway. 
But back, but way back in my day, yeah, you you would probably need shears because you, it's pretty much just an infinite source of wool. Nowadays, there's a bit more reward for killing a sheep. In single players, once you slept in your bed, you in lazy and try and sleep during the day, you can only sleep at night. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, unless if you just want to wait for a million years. Uh, the table of elements. Air. Yes. Many of which can be mined. Uh, obsidian bedrock. I don't know why I circled that. Oh, that's a block ID. Yeah, they don't work anymore. I guess MA comes from magma. Which, I mean, technically, yeah, lava is just magma. But different. Wait, what the? What's that say? That's soul sand. What's AN? Why is A N soul sand? What's the meaning of this? I'm thinking too much into this. Mining rare elements by Captain Sparkles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is payment in other items? Yeah. Um, unfortunately, this doesn't work, given the overlapping elevations. The best place is between Y5 and Y10. All fours generate at their maximum rates within that range. You can check your coordinates when playing by pressing F3 and checking your X and... Y and Z coordinates. Y is useful when mining since it tells you how deep you are at the bottom. Oh, this Y0 and Z level is, is Y64. Uh, I remember th when that was the case. I remember when you couldn't place blocks below the void in the flat world. <laughs> yes, mats drop nothing. Bats are the only passive mob that spawns in the dark and only the passive the only passive mob that can fly. Poor bat. I like bats. I don't know why people just think they're useless. I, they give they give the game more life, honestly. And rip that now um the LA is coming. Unless, unless if the LA can attack the player, if you give it an iron sword and it's near any poker, can it turn into a vex? That would actually be pretty cool. We went through experience. Ooh. <laughs> now I need a hamburger. What's wrong? It's like one thirty in the morning. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Oh, old saddle. Just if it wait, I don't remember putting a chest on a on a horse. Ah, yes, the moose room. I remember when cats will just were just ocelots. I miss those days. I really do. Animals continued. Pig. I don't know why I did. Why I circled the pig. <laughs> Carry on a stick. You'll need to mine deep underground to find that. <laughs> yeah. I've always wondered why you can't just craft saddles. Okay, one wall. Yeah, one wool. This was... I don't think this was... Yeah, this isn't accounting for looting. One, three, experience. Usually neutral. Hostile and attacked.
Him tame unleashes using fishing rods. Yeah, that's just gonna hurt your dog. Leaves have been invented. Ah, uh, yes, before the pillage and village. Well, if I check your color robes, drops nothing, but they let, yeah. Iron Golem. I used to be pretty scared of these guys, honestly. Wait. Wait. Mm. I'm gonna have three until the no. No, there's 35. Add more doors. Yes. <laughs> there is one more door. Come, let us make more babies. Yes. Look at the trading menu. Alright. Oh, yes. Wait. That's not what they looked like. Or not anymore. I don't remember them looking like that. Just wearing Steve clothing. A.K.A. Creepus Explodus. They will run towards you and explode. <laughs> Play level 7 less. Now they spawn with 0. But don't die when the sun rises. TNT. Notch accidentally invented the creeper when he's trying to make the pig. How to kill. Shoot several times with the bow and arrows. A durable weapon. Blow up by luring into a hole filled with TNT. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Yay. Make it fall from a cliff. Walk through lava. Walk through cat. Oh yeah. I never actually saw this in survival, but... Yet. But charged creeper. I've always wanted to see that. Use it to kill... Oh wait, even then. Five experience. You really kind of deeper. You can pause now. I didn't see me uh, They can climb ladders. They can climb ladders without arms. Yes, this skeleton. Enchanted bow and arrow. I was so scared of them. Oh, wait. Hold on. Zoom in. Enhance. Is that an enchanted arrow? That's an enchanted arrow. As far as I'm aware, there are no enchanted arrows in Minecraft. Times. <laughs> Day fall cliff, lava cacti. Recipes, how to kill a skeleton. My skeletons can put up. Alright. You're on the sniper duo, G. Oh. And then shoot Enderman with the arrows, which is something players can't. Oh! <gasps> Wait, I don't know if anyone knew this. And killing after. Oh my gosh. Occasionally, also drop their bow. Armor very rarely. I have experience. Zombies. Unless you bump into a large group of them. I believe skeletons also have the same amount of health as the player. Son, my, my feet are dying. While recording a video tutorial, I had near death experience. Please. <laughs> yeah, most of the time they're just wearing gold armor. Like, if I spawn a bunch of them, if I spawn like a million of them in hard mode, in creative. They're, they'll usually spawn with um, leather or more commonly gold. It will try, so this can be tricky. This means that zombies are.
skeleton skeletons. No. Sp spider chunky. I've encountered a few of these in survival. They're pretty tough. That would kill spider. Neutral and daylight. Hostile and low light levels. Okay, hold on. My feet are dead. Set it on fire. Mm. Or you just punch it to death. <laughs> the Enderman. Oh, funky head. Yeah, that's history. Teleport. Our rare neutral mobs. Tell that to all the people that have Enderman farms. <laughs> I remember when Enderman didn't exist. No good. It's no use. Ender pearls. Nice. Uh, is there more? Slime. Billy. Oh yeah, apparently they can't swim upward. Even to this day, I still use that. Three for you. <laughs> How to kill a slime. No worries. There you go, that's all that. You can pause the video at those times. Yes, the perfect base. This is actually really... Ah, uh, the old texture. Wait. Doors didn't look like that. I thought that was only... It's not how they looked before the update. Mm, add more torches. Yeah, before lanterns, we had torches. Why is my butt here? Ladders to make a mine. Where's the, where's the giant dirt pillar? Gardening. I never really bothered with gardening. I... I mean, it looks so nice, though. My first garden. Oh, yeah. Sometimes blessings are disguised as creeper craters. Okay. We could pause there. Farming crops. Make a hoe. I, should, I usually go with maybe stone. I don't really do the gold, though. I don't know why there's something about it that doesn't sit right with me. But iron hoe is too expensive. I can just make a sword. No, I have sweet grow. Put torches. Hmm, I actually didn't take that into account. Look, feeding stuff. Wolves. Wolves. Ever. I'll take your entire stock. <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted to... I've never seen an orange sheep. I have never seen an orange sheep. Blue and pink don't mix, but red and yellow do. <laughs> For 20 minutes or pretty much one day. Imagine you, you were just born, and then the next day you decide to just go wander off. Like, goodbye. Chain exists, although it can't be, you can only get it if a mob is wearing it. Or trading through villagers. 
Yeah. Cool guys don't look at explosions. <laughs> That's true though. Why would that? Explosions, yes. Half a shirt is equal to one defense point. It reduces it by 4%. There's the original thing, because I, I was looking at another video, and I was like, where'd they get the 4%? That would mean that if you have, like, full diamond, you can get up to 40% damage reduction. 6 defense, 5, 2, 2. I think it's just all of them. I think all of them. Wait, no. That's just iron as an example. Gold armor definitely doesn't do six defense points. It does like one and a half. Or like, probably like, that probably does like three. That's like two. That's like one, one. <laughs> Leather the weakest and diamond the strong. Wait, then why are you putting it like gold is better than diamond? Where's my redstone? Where's, where's the redstone armor that when you literally step on redstone on redstone wire you can get infinite power source? <laughs> that would actually be pretty cool. I won't lie. <laughs> redstone. There it is, the beacon. Paul also created a simple beacon, and this is now widely used. Normally, I would do like that, and then I would put four torches around, and then the one on top. And then I would have to make another thing to go back down, because I'm not just going to jump. I'm going to break my legs and die. Here are the torches. Find your way at night. Road building, sign recipe. So you won't lose them if you die. Yeah, that's what I did. Though I also did like ba 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 ba. Oh, we're getting near the end. Maps, compass, field designs. I remember when when you didn't even need to make them. This was before. 1.16, I believe, or 1.17, when you could, um, when you could literally just look in the crafting thing, and in, po in Pocket Edition, we have, um, like, a little recommended thing, like, here's all the recipes that you can craft, and then you can just look at the compass and clock, and you can just instantly tell them, now it's just fixed on, the compass is always north, and the the clock is always noon because they got rid of that because I guess they just discovered it was broken. Which one does? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of food, lots of weapons, torch, bed. And hop in before being attacked. See, <laughs> Foxy. 12 and 13. Wait, we're on page 70. Jeez. Map recipe. Wait, no, that's a locator map. I don't know where the shelter is here, though. Oh, oh yes, the minecarts. Diamond? Are those diamond blocks? No. Ah, uh, I think I remember when this is was in um. I believe this was in Pocket Edition, and it was removed. People say that was never added. I remember you, unless if that was just the Xbox Edition. I didn't know how to use it, but I remember that. Wait, no, it was before hoppers. Blah. I also do have a 
redstone one with a bunch of redstone things I can make. Uh, you can't get it anymore. Yeah, I really wanted to do that. You can make a fun roller coaster from minecart and rails. Yeah. I wanted to have this. You have a powered minecart craft, another basic minecart. Or place this on the track in front of the powered minecart, and it will be pushed along. Because basically it like connects, but I guess the reason they removed it from Java was because it was really buggy. Ah, yes. How do you learn the skills to make Minecraft? Uh, can I pause that? What's your favorite feature? Infinite drain, red, and redstone. Program your own thingies. Someone made duck hunt. Someone made an entire Team Fortress 2 and vanilla Minecraft with redstone. Jeff, you've had a lot of things. Which one is your favorite? The random structures like strongholds and nether fortresses. Who's trying to do in the He doesn't know what to what the terrain looks like. The game has to make a lot. Maybe it's only villages with the roof. Yeah, that's true. Or villages that are half submerged in water. That just makes it more realistic and gives a story. The infinite terrain was always very difficult to make. Yes. It's a it's pseudo randomly. It's kind of random, but always the same if you use the same starting seed. Kind of it. I think it might have been tweaked because some sometimes like different tree placements happen. I think Jeb is real talented for making procedurally. In mind he makes those few adventures. I like the way he's done over the course of development. All right, I want tell us brought people together. Yes. <laughs> Did you ever think? No, I thought it was pretty fun. <laughs> and so the original plan was to work on the game for half a year, so I make enough money one or two games. I mean, yeah, it's got a lot bigger. It's it's pretty much one of the best games in the world. You know, it's like the first or second best game in the world. <laughs> Selling wise. Mm. This, this, you guys can pause that. Let's pause this. A tower bridge from the master builders known as Fire UK. I've always wanted to make giant builds like these. Like it just blows me away that that people can make this even in survival with like the Hermitcraft server making these giant structures. Yeah, why is it more? Is it more than again? The community, if you look on YouTube, Twitch TV. Oh, Twitch! I knew about Twitch from like 2016. How? So it's a, uh, the creeper face books and documentaries, block by block, the UN Habitat Project. And achievements. 10 key achievements. <laughs> Hot topic. How did we get here? Have all uh, all twenty something potion effects at once? Poor cow rip. Look at all these custom things, like custom Facebook, custom Twitter, official website. Hey, okay. oh the Minecraft wiki. Let's go. Oh, not monitored. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's been a lot. This is actually the same site that I use that my sister actually found. I did not. We've come full circle. All of this entire thing has just come full circle. Hey, Redstone, I have you. I don't have combat or construction. I just have redstone. I started making redstone using this as a guide. And then I saw other people making more advanced redstone. 
And then I just kind of decided to make my own style of redstone, I guess. A mix of piston, of slime, honey, and just sticky pistons. I don't do hoppers. I have thought about making, like, a mail system using hoppers, like, across long distances, which I think would be really cool. And well, that was rediscovering Minecraft in one point in java 1.6 ah man it's been so long man this book this book really has seen better days and again i got this when i was like young like really young all right thank you everyone so much for watching this is Dino weapon or i guess the editor in this case signing out Bye-bye.